Welcome live to the Maasai Mara, to two of the cutest things in the world. My name is Brent Go Smith. I have Dave on camera, and we are with tiny little lion cubs. They're between four and six weeks old, and they are just the most adorable little things. We are with the Black Rock Pl Pride. And look at that little one on an adventure. If he starts adventuring a bit too far, mom is going to come back and uh, bring bring them back. Oh, he's disappeared behind the, the rock. But there should be, um, they're actually four little ones. They're only two visible at the moment. And uh, there's mom sitting on top of the rock. Oh, here comes the little one towards mom. Look, here he comes, charging in. They're so clumsy at this age. They're just too adorable. Um, Oh, not too impressed is mom. Now, they were all suckling a little bit earlier and they do have needle-like sharp teeth. So she's a bit tired of all the, the cubs' attention. Oh, look at that. He's calling and th their voice hasn't even, their vo vocal cords haven't even developed yet. So when they call, it's just this, ow, this little squeak. But they are just the most adorable creatures in the world, little lions. Oh, see a snarl. You... Give me my alone time, little one. Oh, okay, Mom. I'll just sit here then. I just wanted to play. Now, if you have any comments or questions, just pop them on the feed below. I would love to hear from you about these absolutely gorgeous little lion cubs. Ow! Oh, shame! And... None of your brothers and sisters want to play with you either. Where has the other one disappeared to? I still can't see it. it keeps thinking about going towards mom and then thinks, oh, no, I'll get into trouble again. Now you can see it's a very windy day here in the Masai Mara in Kenya, and uh, we're bringing you tiny little lion cubs. 100% live. You are seeing them at the exact same time as us. Oh, off go the little troubles. So as I just said, there is a lot of wind today, so you might hear a bit of that wind noise. It is a howling gale out here. Oh, oh, complaining. I'm just making sure the other two don't come trundling in from behind us. So as I said, there are four of these little monsters. Isn't that just the most adorable face? There we go, Anne's comment. Oh, he's heartwarming. See, now that other little one who disappeared over the rock is in trouble. As you can see, the line is strolling towards. Now, you must remember, there are massive amounts of hyenas and marauding male lions and leopards in these areas so if the cubs wander too far it can be a really big threat so she might even pick the cub up here we go she's found the missing one so amy is wondering how long do you, oh isn't that gorgeous uh do you, the cubs stay with their mother now, Amy, it all depends whether they're a boy or a girl. If they're a boy, they will leave mom at about two and a half to three years old. If they're a girl, they will generally stay with mom for their whole lives. So they will stay with their nasal pride, the females. Um, the males will leave when they get to a certain age. Now, where did the little ones go? Bill is wondering when they were born. I would say between four and six weeks ago. So they're very, very young. And uh, it is really, really special to see lions of this age. So it is quite special. Now, females walking off, I can't see where the cubs are just yet. But I don't want to move the vehicle. I want the cubs uh, to have freedom of movement around here and uh, not be threatened by the cars moving around. So that's why we generally stick in one spot. And there we go. There's a head popping up. Hello, little trouble. Oh, mom, mom, where'd you go, mom? Now, 
Sarah says, what a beautiful view. Indeed it is, Sarah. It is absolutely spectacular. Even with the gale-forced winds we're experiencing this morning, uh, it is one of the grandest vistas in the Maasai Mara. And uh, there we go, future king of the king of the rock. Uh, now just a little furball. Dustin is wondering, is the female not getting agitated, agitated with us nearby? Not at all, Dustin. Uh, these uh, these lines are very habituated to game drive vehicles and she was actually getting more ag agitated with the little cubs trying to suckle constantly and that's why she moved off and you must remember Dustin we, we do keep a respectful distance we don't put pressure onto the animals um, so we can watch them behave naturally uh, and that is the special thing now remember this is also a hundred percent live uh, that you are watching now so you were seeing this at the exact same time as we are now, there we go little cubbies disappearing down the hill there probably is a rock crevice or something on the other side um, and so lions will use den sites and uh, the reason for this is that the females can't take the cubs with them when they go hunting so they they need to be able to find a safe place to leave them and uh, this this area has got lots of these little safe little crevices so you might find the female might be leaving the cubs there while she just goes and has some alone time oh disappearing again head up head down um, now, the rest of the pride is not far away as well. They're probably about 50 meters away. Let's just go have a quick look at them. Oh, there it is. Hello, little one. Let's just have a quick look at the rest of the pride. There's two little cubs there as well. This wind is very, very strong. Menasha says, the lions are my favorite. Well, there's the rest of the pride finishing off a wildebeest um, with the young cub. Now, cubs of this age don't really eat meat. They're still mostly reliant on milk. But what they will do is play with their food, so to speak, or their future food. Um, and here we go, there's another tiny little one um, playing with the head of the wildebeest. So as I said, those who are wondering which pride this is, this is the Black Rock Pride. You get that wildebeest little one. Now a lot of these games you see now um, is instinct and they're honing their, their killer instincts even from this incredibly young age. Oh, off you go, you're being scooted off. And there's another little cub. Hello, big girl. There we go, look at this. Oh, she almost picked up the cub. That said, she might move the cubs to where the others are being hidden. They won't leave them near a carcass if they're going to move off, um, because of course carcasses do draw in hyenas. Now, Laurie says, uh, "How is it safe to be in a vehicle with no roof?" Well, it, it's 100% safe. Uh, lions do not see vehicles um, as they uh, do not see the people in vehicles. It's not the way their eyes work. So they. They don't actually know that there's a person in here. If I was to stand up, however, and, and show them the, the upright figure of man, the dominant downhill predator, uh, that could cause them to either run away or be aggressive. But as long as we keep a respectful distance and we drive carefully around the animals, we're able to get very close and enjoy incredible encounters with the big cats. Now let's wait for one last view of those tiny little cubs through the legs of mom there. And uh, remember that we could go live at any single second of the day. 24 hours a day we have vehicles out bringing you the magnificence of the Maasai Mara. So keep an eye on those Facebook feeds 